Don't you just love a nice hot cup of tea in the morning? So do I. My tea is cold. Hey everybody, welcome back to Art of Cart. Today I decided to do a tutorial video using Copic markers, and I've had some requests on how to draw candle flame or what well, color candle flame using Copic markers. Now, I have done one using color pencils, and I'll link that video in the description box below or at the end of this video, and so you might pick up a few new tips and tricks if you're not using markers that might be helpful for you. But let's jump over to my art desk and I'll show you what color Copic markers I'm using and show you how I do it. For this coloring process, I'm going to be using several different shades of Copic markers. And to help you out, I'll either show you the cap when I'm using a different color, or I'll post it to the side of the screen. Now, the first step in creating a candle flame is to actually sketch out the design of the candle and the flame itself. Now, for your benefit, I'm going to draw it a little darker than I normally would, but I'd highly recommend that if you're going for a realistic picture, you draw as lightly as possible. Remember, anytime something has an outline around it, it's going to automatically make it look a little bit more cartoony. So you want your lines to pretty much disappear when you add color. Speaking of color, we're going to start with the lightest shades first and go darker. So the first color that I'm going to use is a Y000. And I'm going to focus my color towards the top point of the flame coming down along the sides. There's going to be a center, like a circle or bubble around the wick in the flame that I'm going to really protect. I want to keep that as white as possible. So I want to try to blend those colors into that white. The next color I'm going to add might seem a little bit out of place, but it just came from observation. And it can differ depending on what kind of fire is burning. Now, some flames I've noticed based at the wick will give off a different color. The one I was looking at had a blue color, but I've seen them with green colors, purple colors, or even a redder color. So just kind of play around with what color wick flame you want. It kind of depends on like the, the chemicals that are on the wick that cause the burn. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm an artist. I just observed it. A colorless blender can be your best friend at this point, especially if you're trying to preserve your white, but you need to blend that blue or yellow into white. Use that colorless blender to do that. We're going to bump up the colors now and go into it for a darker orange, which I'm going to use a Y24. And this is just going to be at the very tip of the flame. And I'm going to put a couple spots along the side. Now with every single fire that you look at, it's going to be different. So yours might not have the same colors or the same intensity of colors or maybe more intense in places. It's all about observation. Once we lay that darker color in, we're going to begin blending that out with that light shade, that triple zero Y. After I kind of blend that in, now I'm going to begin laying in just slightly darker colors and building up the intensity. So for this next one, I'm using a Y11, which is a nice pale, but it has a little bit of oomph yellow to it. It's not my brightest yellow, but it's starting to get there. Every time I lay down a new color, I'm going to go back to either a colorless blender or the shade above that or below that, a shade lighter than that, and blend that together. So that way you're not going to get those streaky lines or one color coming and automatically stopping and having another color coming on top of that. So the whole, the whole process of using Copic markers is blending and layering and taking your time. And the more you put into this, the more you're going to get out of your drawing. Now, I spent probably a good half an hour on just this candle alone, and I'd say it turned out pretty good towards the end, but I know some artists that will spend hours and hours on just one element. So now let's look at the wick here. I'm just going to use a soft gray to add in the wick beginning shape and then go in with an orange. I think I'm using a Y18 just to add a little bit of the fire ember on the wick. Now contrast is awesome. You don't have to do this part, but I wanted to kind of get a glow going there. So I'm going to take a in between gray and just add in a background. Now, zooming in here, the little details that count, I'm going to take a very, very light gray. This is a uh, W0 gray, and I'm just going to tap in the background behind the flame. I don't want to take out that blue, but I want to show a little bit of, of difference between the background and where the candle is. With a slightly darker shade, I think I'm using a Y7, I'm going to go ahead and add some detail into the wick itself. And now let's start working on the glow. So I'm going to take that really light yellow again and start 
pushing that into my grays and that's going to create that glow with alcohol based markers when you lay one color on top of another it can kind of push that bottom color out and fade it a little bit and so you can get some really fun textures it doesn't work with every single color so you want to play around and see what colors work well with others but as you play around you're really going to find some fun techniques to add a little bit more definition to my candle i'm going to go in with a gold color this is the y28 and i want to create some shadows and depth in the actual candle so it's not looking super smooth by doing this, I'm gonna give the illusion that kind of wax is dripping down and create that inner glow that the, that the actual flame is creating in the candle. Now the flame is just about done, but I'm gonna go in with some really dark oranges, which I have listed here, and I'm gonna start with my darkest at the very tip and then go with my lighter and blend that out and then go with my lighter one and blend that out and then finally take my really pale yellow and blend that all seamlessly together. You can find amazing candle references online to look at, or if you're careful, fire safety first, you can always, you know, light a candle and draw from life and light. There you go. Just remember, it's going to take some time to create a realistic piece, so don't rush it. If you need to, take some breaks. Well, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're brand new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any videos. And if you want to make doubly sure that you don't miss out, you can always smash that notification bell. That way, anytime I upload a video, which is three times a week, you will get an actual notification sent to you so that you can jump in and not miss out on a moment of Art à la carte. If you can't wait for my next video, you can always check out these videos here. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye!